welcome once again to Anchor of Life. You're welcome, wonderful people, good people, good friends of mine. You're welcome once again. Well, today, Anchor of Life uh, uh, is bringing a very wonderful topic to you. I will say, if today is your first time of coming across this media or channel, or you have been seeing a video that I've been doing, we do encourage you to subscribe, share, and comment. Especially subscribe, share, and comment. And this encourages me to do a more quality video. We thank you all that made your efforts to watch what we did here last time. We talked about abortion, we talked about the mysteries of life, and we talked about, uh, 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 about religion. Is it a science or, 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 or a world of life? And this topic uh, attracted thousands of people's view. I mean, of them commented. We thank most of you that did like that. And we say, may God bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Well, today we are so concerned on why you are acting the way you are acting, or why you react like this, or why, or why you respond to some certain things in your life in a certain way. That is why Anchor of Life have made a research, and we found out the reasons. And that is why we bring this whatever topic to you to help you out live your life in a way that you're going to be the controller and not something controlling you. You get that now. Now, the topic says what controls you? that you are not aware of or you may be aware of it but what we are trying to say here is that it is interesting that most people in today in the world are fond of trying to stop a habit they have tried at least a thousand times and they failed the power the power to say no have been killed destroyed and captivated by the overwhelming power of such a habit it well it could be that they don't like what they are doing or some certain behavior that you will do we don't like it that is why you are trying to stop them yeah it is good we want to let you know this that most of actions you think you are doing that you want to stop you are doing that because there are things you've received in the past there are things you've accepted as a goal of life in the past, maybe from the people of modern set of things that you've been exposed to. This did not made you to behave in a, in a particular way. That is why you are behaving like that. Here, we are trying to say that, that, we are trying to say here that your behavior is what is a result of the things you've responded to. That is what controls your behavior today. Most people today in the world don't even know when they are overtaken by the fault. The fact here is that there are philosophies, attitude, mindset, mentality that we have accepted as a will of life. It is interesting to know that a philosophy we hold influences our mindset or mentality. These are mindsets. I mean, it's your mindset, not even mine, but your own mindset affects our mental state, affects our habit or behavior. Now, you heard about philosophy. Philosophy simply means all accepted truth, belief, idea, philosophy, and then theories which our life is based upon. Or you can still say it is all learning apart from practical experience. This means that philosophy affects our behavior, and this our behavior is called our psychology. Our psychology. That is the way we behave. Now, all these dimensions of human mind and existence is what controls the man. Do you get the point now? This is what controls you. The truth you receive and accepted is what controls you. You can call it emotions. You can call it mindset. You can call it philosophy. You can call it attitude. It is it. But what we are trying to say is that if you can learn about the mechanisms of this emotion, mindset, mentality, and the rest of it, you are going to excel in life and also be what a glowing human being. Watch my whole, read my lips, a glowing human being. Thank you. So if you can understand that here, yeah, you're going to be a good human being. Furthermore, whether black or white, weak or strong, teacher or student. We, we, we accept our truth and believe on. We 
I'm trying to say that we should judiciously discern with reason, discern with reason based on life principles before accepting anything as our belief system. The life principle are found in the Bible. I like using the Bible because <laughs> you know it, my viewers and my friends, it have stand a test, a, 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 a test of, of time and what we believe influences us. The Bible said that we should guide our heart, this our heart, we should guide it for out of it and issues of life. I know that many of you watching this are very, very interested because I'm talking about life, behavior and the rest of it. You should be very, very careful. Whatever you accept as truth influences you. Judiciously, wisely, discern every truth you receive before accepting that as part of your life. Here, millions of people in the world today are very, very interested about studying human life and behavior, which is psychology and philosophy. Well, all of this is based on what? Inner management, inner understanding, the, the opening of your third eyes and your inner perception about things is what helps us to do better things in life for our students. You know that the world is just like a new. The whole world you are seeing, the whole world you are seeing, it seems so big, but no, the whole world you are seeing just like a mirror. They all reflect themselves in the mirrors of your mind. You are alive. I know that things exist because you are alive. They are going to perceive every wave of information, every truth going around, every teaching, philosophy, acts, and behaviors of people in the world through your five senses. And this way, you perceive them through your five senses. Now reason with them, discern carefully. Is this thing very important in my life? You accept it truly. That becomes what controls you. So the real life here is you. Accept a good thing and build your life on those good values is what controls you as a man. So your actions that you are the things you are doing is based on what you have accepted and stood. That is why inner management and inner science is very, very Please, my viewers, I don't, I don't want to keep you so long here or try to make you feel so tired. Please don't scroll up yet. And uh, I'm not trying to make you feel so tired. What I'm trying to say here is that all we perceive through our five senses and coordinated by our brain and our mind and accepted with our heart and decisions made affect all our life and behavior, even our experience about life because that, that those things that we accept is not part of us and we gather them as we associate with different set of things and set of people in the world in conclusion your attitude your philosophy affects your aptitude that is your readiness to work and that your readiness to work affects your psychology that is your behavior in terms after that your behavior it affects your attitude that is where you're going to be in the future that is why I, Anchor Life, said, your past experiences and information plus the present world is what will take you to your future, which is your attitude. In summary, I want to let you know this secret. Be careful what people tell you in the street about your life. Be careful the truth they teach you. They say it's the best way to survive. Be careful. When you receive those things, go back with yourself. Discern with reason. Think about all these things you want in waiting. You are visiting them deeply. Before now, make decisions on those things. You understand? Please, if your first time is now watching us on what we are doing here, we do encourage you to subscribe. It encourages us to do more community video. Please subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you, thank you, and bye for now.